Hey, what is up YouTube? Today we're taking a look at my UI RAM for your Nexus 4 device. And this is one of my very top favorite RAMs of all, including up there with Saigenomod and AOKP. This has to be in my top five list of favorite RAMs. As this is an insanely themed out, it doesn't even look like an Android device RAM for your Nexus 4 device. And as you can see, all the icons are changed right here from the beginning, which is really, really nice. Um, it gives you a nice fresh look. If you get tired of that same uh, stock uh, Android look, I never really have, but if you guys do, this is a great opportunity to actually change up your device. So as you can see, um, also uh, one other thing you can actually notice is that you have no app drawer. So all your apps are actually shown on your home screen throughout these pages. Um, you also have a search bar right here, so you can actually search anything you want. So let me go and search music. As you can see, I was previously searching that. So you can search in the web, in the uh, Google Play Market, or an application which you have already pre-installed, which I do. So there you go. That's pretty darn nice, um, very convenient, uh, very, very similar to the iPhone-esque uh, look of it as you have no app drawer and you have the search bar. Um, I hate comparing stuff to <laughs> iPhone and Apple products, uh, but it is the truth, unfortunately. Uh, but I really don't mind that feature as it is very useful. Um, if you go into settings, as you can see, all the settings are very different. You have two sections, quick settings and all settings. So quick settings, you get all these options, which is, well, <laughs> quick. And you have your all, all the settings right here. Uh, if we go into about phone, um, you can see it looks nothing like your normal Android device. Everything is heavily themed. Um, a lot of it is different functions and different looks of it, which is outstanding. Uh, great props to the whole team who actually did this and made this whole thing possible. Big thanks to you guys. You guys are very good developers um, for the Android guys. <laughs> I hope you keep guys making it. Um, and if you do like this uh, uh, RAM, be sure to uh, donate to the link down below for the credits and donate to this developer. Um, so you go, you got all your information version, uh, version <laughs> if you guys are wondering. Um, you also have themes, which is the main thing that you probably want to have with this ROM is themes. So I, if we go, okay, my Wi-Fi is turned on. If we go into the online section, which comes by default, you get all these themes. And now it is going to take a little bit. I think the servers are from China, so I've been having slow internet. Uh, just for this section, but everything else is going very fast. So I believe all these uh, servers are from China possibly I could be wrong cause Just because there are a lot of people downloading it, but as you can see you get hundreds Oh, let me go back. You get hundreds of themes hundreds of hundreds and it keeps loading It just keeps going so you have tons of themes that you can actually install on your device I actually uh, downloaded a couple of them to uh, to be in fact um, so let's go and uh, apply two of these that are pre-downloaded. Um, some of them do cost money, some of them are free, so if you want to pay a little bit of money, um, you could get the nicer themes, but the free ones are just as nice in my opinion. So this one is all, the two one, the two themes I'm going to be showing today are completely free, if you guys are wondering, but you definitely make an account with them, so just be aware of that. Um, so as you can see, you got all these icons are changed, which is really nice. The little um, indicator, page indicator has changed. Um, let's see if the keyboard has changed. Let's see that. Um, and also the keyboard is the same, but as you can see all the icons are changed up. Wallpaper is different. Toggles are all different. Both. Oh, okay, if I had some notifications, there would be. Um, settings should be different as well. Um, so, okay, so settings actually didn't get changed. Um, but when you do tap down, it does change green. Alright, so it, it has changed by a little bit. Um, let's see if our lock screen is any different. I think it's the same function. Let me go and try that. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Um, and also on your lock screen, if you double tap the middle button, you get a music player. And that works on any type of theme you have, which is really nice. So double tap it again, and you'll get your lock screen again. For camera, calling, messaging, and unlock, of course. Um, let's go and apply a second theme. And I'll show you that one. This one has a different lock screen. So you might have to wait a few seconds just to load up to refresh. So let's apply this one. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds to apply, no reboot required. So it is really nice in the, for well, overall, it's a great ROM. And I haven't experienced any problems with this ROM. Works flawlessly on my part. I've been using it for a couple days. Or actually, um, oh, actually, this is the updated version. So it's um, actually this morning. <laughs> um, but I've actually been using the my UI ROM on Nexus 4 for a couple days. But just the recent version that's been released, I've been using it for just today. Um, but anyway, as you can see, all this is themed. More of a, um, I don't know, <laughs> this is another theme, I guess. Um, everything should be changed. If we search something, the icons should be changed, which it is. Um, toggles are different, so it's a nice light blue, which is nice if you like that color. And your lock screen is actually different this time. So you have to slide left to right to actually unlock it, 
which is really nice. So it not only themes it, but changes the functionality of your lock screen as well, if you do, if you do download a certain ROM. Um, but that is what I really want to show you for my UI ROM. It's a lot about themes. Uh, it really just changes up the whole look of an Android device. No app drawer. You have a search button. Toggles are completely redesigned. Lock screen is completely different. So be sure to check this out. And one thing I did forget to mention is that you also get LTE with this one too. So it does come with working LTE. Um, I can't really show you as I don't have a SIM card in mind, but LTE is confirmed working with this ROM. So that's a big, big bonus. Uh, but that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this ROM review, be sure to subscribe and like this video in the bottom left hand corner to see more of these great ROM reviews for your next four device and many other devices, as well like Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3, and even the Galaxy Nexus ROM reviews almost every week. I try to at least. Um, so be sure to subscribe, like this video, and link down below for the actual ROM. And be sure to donate to the developer as he has worked a lot. He has worked very hard for this ROM. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.